Well, if you've been thinking about purchasing an RTX 40 series graphics card, you might want to pay attention to today's video. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So you're in the market for an RTX 40 series GPU and you're thinking maybe you want something pretty powerful. Well, I got some bad news for you because it looks like things definitely could be changing with NVIDIA's RTX 40 series, especially for those of you out there looking for the best of the best. Looks like, unfortunately, you might not be able to get that anymore. What am I talking about? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a videocards.com article to figure out exactly what's going on with NVIDIA's RTX 40 series. The first thing you're going to notice is it says, quote, NVIDIA RTX 4090 Ti no longer planned according to a reputable leaker. But there's actually a lot more to talk about than just this, and we'll get into it in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what he said. Now, the reputable leaker is Copite 7 Kimi, and I can definitely tell you guys this guy certainly does have some inside information when it comes to NVIDIA. He's gotten a lot of stuff right in the past, so this isn't just some random guy on Twitter. I actually do think there is some legitimacy behind his claims. Now, what are his claims? Let's go ahead and take a look. Quote, I'm afraid there won't be RTX 4090 Ti anymore. Some low-grade 8103 and 8106 chips will be another versions of RTX 4070 and 4060. Now, he does have a lot more information to share as well. We'll get to in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about the RTX 4090 Ti. Why is it being canceled? And is there going to be another upgrade path for RTX 40 series owners? if you don't want to wait for the RTX 50 series, which is starting to sound like it could be coming out as late as quarter one or possibly even quarter two of 2025. Now, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a lot sooner to the beginning of 2025. And guys, I still do believe there's a good chance we still could be seeing the RTX 50 series and AMD's next generation by the end of 2024, especially if Intel really brings the heat. But let's go ahead and stay on the side of caution and say that it is going to be delayed until the beginning of 2025. Well, that's going to be a long time. So is there going to be another option? And guys, I do truly believe that there will be some sort of refresh in 2024. Now, I do want to let you guys know this is speculation. This is not a leak, but I do speculate that there will be some sort of a refresh from NVIDIA and possibly even AMD in 2024 to combat Battle Mage and also tidy up some stuff such as, you know, bringing the DisplayPort 2.1 to the RTX 40 series, giving you more VRAM, giving you better price to performance, that sort of stuff. I do truly believe that will happen, but if it doesn't, don't crucify me. Now, why is the RTX 4090 Ti being canceled other than maybe they're going to be doing a refresh of some sort? Well, honestly, I think it's because they don't have to release it. They're making more money releasing more of the RTX 4090 dies as to create a 4090 Ti. It essentially has to be perfect with no defects. So there would be a lot less of them that they can produce and they don't have to make anything any faster. I mean, AMD isn't pushing them to create a faster GPU. Now, the 7900 XTX, which I have in my system behind me, actually, is very, very fast, and especially once you overclock it with a high power target type of BIOS, it can actually get in the 1% and 0.1% lows very, very close to an RTX 4090, to the point where I'm not so sure it's really going to feel that much better to be using a 4090 versus an XTX when ray tracing is off. You turn ray tracing on and NVIDIA definitely pulls way ahead even in the 1% and 0.1% lows, even compared to an overclocked XTX. But you get my point. It, even though it is a very, very good card, the XTX is slower than an RTX 4090. Don't let anybody fool you. And not just in ray tracing. In regular rasterization performance, the average frame rate is definitely still behind the 4090, even if you overclock the XTX. So if AMD is not going to be bringing out a faster version of it anytime soon, why would NVIDIA give you the RTX 4090 Ti? They can go ahead and continue to cash in on the RTX 4090. So that's what I think is going on there. But 
Again, there's more to this story, so let's go ahead and move on to what else Cop 87 Kimi had to say. Quote, combined with multiple sources, I confirm the gaming flagship of Ada Next will have a 512-bit memory interface. Now guys, this is absolutely insane because if the 5090 uses a memory bus interface this wide, it is definitely gonna be incredibly powerful. The more memory bandwidth you have on a card, as many of you probably know, it makes it a lot, lot better, especially for high resolution gaming. Even if they just use 24 gigabits per second GDDR6 to try and save money, that's still gonna be a card that has over 1500 gigabytes per second of total memory bandwidth. But if they use GDDR7, it could actually be over two terabytes a second of memory bandwidth. That is a true 8K card, as long as the GPU itself is powerful enough as well. And if they're shooting for over two terabytes a second, it probably is. We're talking about high refresh rate 8K gaming, at least on maybe somewhat less demanding games, or maybe you have to turn down some of your settings, use DLSS, that sort of thing, but certainly that's enough memory bandwidth to get the job done. It also means that you're gonna be getting a minimum of 32 gigabytes of memory on this card. That's gonna be absolutely insane. But guys, if they use GDDR7, it could be up to 48 gigabytes on this card, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. Now, we'll have to wait and see whether or not this does end up coming true, but considering it's coming from Cop 87 Kimi, I think there is a good chance. So, there you have it, guys. There's a lot going on with NVIDIA this week. I wanted to talk about it because this is absolutely crazy. Between them canceling the 4090 Ti and specking up the RTX 5090, there's a lot going on. And again, that 5090, if it comes out and it really does have a 512-bit bus, especially with GDDR7, this might be the biggest generational leap we've seen maybe ever. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 5090 really will use a 512-bit bus, or do you think they'll stick with 384? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you want to talk to me directly and get some behind-the-scenes content, be sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon for access to the Discord. I highly appreciate it. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.